Hey, what's up everyone? DJ Sturt here, playing Security Breach and Fury's Rage. And yeah, if you played Streets of Rage, you know what's up. This is a beat-em-up style game. But yeah, Scott Cawthon made this one using the Glamrock animatronics, or at least an anthropomorphized version of them. So yeah, they've been to the gym and probably too much. I think Freddy's juicing, so let me erase my progress. Alright, we're gonna do a three-star run. Cruise it for a bruise it! Alright. Let's go, Freddy. Let's see if they're ready for Freddy. Freddy's a little bit taller. So I stand a little bit lower by default. You do have to move up to hit the boxes. Like that. A drop kick is not as strong as a punch combo, but Monty's punch con uh, drop kick is strong enough that he can knock down the poison foxies in one fell swoop and the marionettes. Uh, Chica has a very nice special attack. Um, it's yeah, it's, it's some give and take with the animatronics here for the, uh, the, the characters. Come on, not nap time, buddy. This one is Thug Life Chipper. That's his in-game name. Alright, this one right here, combo extension, I'm hitting a few times and then stepping into it. And that resets the punch counter to zero when I do that. The problem is with my joystick, it's a Chibo Rock Candy controller. And sometimes it like it flips to the exact opposite side of what I hit. So it's not great. Fury! <laughs> Not nap time, ladies. Come on. Oh, all right. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, with the VR sisters, I still have an issue out with with that because the life bar was depleted. Ooh. And they still. Came back to try to attack. They tried. All right, Roxanne, very nice. I would say Freddy's like a sixth man. Roxanne is like Scotty Pippen, extremely versatile. It's really, really good. Fantastic. But not a uh, not Monty. Fantastic. Monty is just an absolute powerhouse. I'm swapping between two different uh, configurations with my my controller. So I'm going between thumb and then between that and uh, index finger and middle finger. Because with this controller, it's a cheapo controller. Yeah, I think I mentioned that. Um, let's get some time here. Um, there's either latency with my controller or it might be a click team issue or it might be how it's programmed in click team, like requiring a jump or, or whatever. I'm just not sure. But either way, I have to hit the buttons consecutively instead of simultaneously to get the special attack. But the other reason is um, my, my thumb is swollen, so... Fantastic. And it's funny too, because I said she's like Scotty Pippen. And it's, I thought she was saying 33 the first time through when I heard that. And Scotty Pippen was number 33. <laughs> I think he was 33 on the Blazers too, wasn't he, or was he? But definitely on the Bulls. I mean, those were his uh, prime years. Cool. I have two. Flurry, flurry, flurry. Oh boy. Alright, I'm gonna just have to drop kick everything. Cool. Drop kick you, drop kick you, drop kick you, drop kick you, drop kick you. Drop kick all of you! All of you, all day! Oh no, all day! All day! Ooh. <laughs> Let's go! Alright, gotta get rid of the Juggalo Bunny. <laughs> Let's get some space here. I think that's Clown Springtrap, right? That's what it's supposed to be. I'm a little bit behind on FNAF AR. My phone does not do well with it. Anyway, Roxanne is also shorter, so you don't have to do the whole uh, stand a little lower if you don't want. And Monty especially, I stand pretty low on the level because he's so tall. And just cleaner with the uh, registry there. Alright. 
Alright, and we've got the boss here. Alright. I'm gonna try to reuse some of the uh, special attacks here. So I'm not wasting them or whatever. Roxanne's range is very good on her special attack. It's also fairly strong. She's good all around. Like, she's, she's very good. I like her better than I like Freddy, but I know I've heard a lot of uh, varying opinions on that already. But man, Monty is... Monty's ridiculous. Take care of you and you and you. All right, we're done. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes hitting them consecutively, you just kind of gotta gallop on them like that. It's better on the keyboard, and maybe you have a better controller. I don't know. Um, Chica's a little frail with the attacks, but she's ridiculously fast, and her uh, special attacks really nice and powerful. So there are good elements or trade-offs for each character. Direction with those red balls. Yes, they are. They're very annoying. I can watch out for the other direction as well. Because there will be a uh, punk mangle who appears as well. I just have to watch out. I don't know which side. It's going to be a random. All right, the side I did not want you on. Yes. And you can pick up those Anim dudes, but to get the third star, you can't use uh, Anim dude. Oh, this is gonna be a hit. <laughs> that stinks. It's just the configuration of where the red ball ends up, so it's, it's kind of whatever. I got two more. Oh, I got a lot more. Nice. <laughs> Whatever, that's fine, that's fine. Alright, save some though, save some. Get out of there, get out of there. Combo continuation. Okay, any day now. They have a lot of HP. I guess it makes sense. I got that stuff like that. <laughs> Alright. Take a brow. Oh, you're gonna be from that side this time. Alright. Level. Oh, nowhere near. Okay. That's nice. Good upgrade there. <laughs> and you don't want to uh, let Mega Brow get too close because he will butt stomp you literally. It's, it's pretty rough. And he does a lot of damage very quickly if you, if you uh, don't stop him. Do you know what I am saying? Alright. Dab on him, Chica. Alright. <laughs> Last one is Monty. I would say Chica's... Like, I would have said Chica's like a bench warmer who does uh, backflips. Uh, protein? Low fat. But Chica is really good. Like, I don't know. I might have to adjust my tier list. Because for what she does, she's very good. And that's true with most of these characters, you know? It's just a balance of whether you want raw power or fast destruction, <laughs> speediness, or uh, devastation by fist. I mean, like, Monty's dropkick is super powerful. 
so anyway. That drop kick takes care of poison Foxy. Like it's just super powerful. Um, and his special attack is okay. It doesn't even knock out uh, Punk Mangle. That's how weak that uh, special attack is. So that is not his special team. If you do a punch, like a combo extension though, that does take out Punk Mangle. on the lookout. Okay. Yeah, that works. It's nice when they're all consolidated as well. Sometimes they're just not, you know. Like more damage at a time if they are consolidated. All right, come on, let's go. Yeah. All right, be careful here. Yeah, there you go. All right. We got a speedster here. Don't like that. Oh, he's gone. What? I guess I did I uh, reptiles rage him pretty pretty much. I don't know. Monty is like Shaquille O'Neal, but you don't have to shoot free throws. Or maybe shooting free throws would be like just running across the map. I don't know. All right, where are you, Danny? block those, but um, it just gets really annoying, you know? Like, you'll be in the middle of a combo and then she'll just throw a knife. Like, she a, she a real punk like that. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, the key to Vanny is if you can get her consolidated with all the other enemies that you're beating up. That's that's the best, but she still does that. It's a lot easier with Anim Dude. We'll just say that. Anim Dude is super nice. Take out crowds. Let's clear her out. Like, I feel like she shouldn't be able to throw knives unless she's inbound. To it, ladies. It kind of cuts off that S sound at the end. All right, so here we are, boss stage. No Anim dude, no problem. But it is a lot more fun with Anim dude for sure. Use a lot of combo extensions here, and a lot of drop kicks. The drop kick will take care of all the marionettes. Very nice. And the marionettes there are mostly for the purpose of leveling you up and refilling your special attacks. Let's do a special attack. Alright, cool deal. 
And one of the things I have out as well is the uh, 6 a.m. is backwards. Alright, that was kind of ugly. Let's not do that again. Alright, where are you? Where are you? Okay, now that they're not coming out here. There you go. There we go. Yeah, that's what happens when you don't get the uppercut in. You just don't get that uppercut bonus or whatever. It's kind of a nice thing to have, you know. And I haven't leveled yet here at 32. Uh, I think I'm getting there. Anyway, not a very clean boss run here. I apologize for that. Maybe I should have picked Chica on that one. But that's a three-star run, so here's the ending. <laughs> the day was won and the menace was defeated. But what was the ultimate goal of the battle? Our heroes worry that it was all a distraction. Despite the dark days and uncertain times, they remained hopeful that only good things were on the horizon. To be continued. Oh man, the end. And I kind of wish there were a, th a third star special ending for that. And maybe that could be added later. Anyway, there's no time requirements, but you do have to play in hard mode. You can't die and uh, you can't use Anim Dude. I'll show you Anim Dude here in a little bit. All right, let me show you the extra hard mode ending here, okay? Here you go. <laughs> Maybe I should have shown you the intro first. Um, all right, let me, let me erase the data and I'll show you the intro and then I'll show you Anim Dude. And that'll be the video. But remember that last scene with the intro in mind that you're about to see, okay? Here we go. So reset, F2. Uh, no. They're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me. The fan base. When they find out that I have to delay the game again. They're gonna kill me. They're gonna burn my house down. They're gonna... They're gonna... They're gonna tar and feather me. What am I gonna do? I know. I'll make a game for them. A, a game where I can help them. A game where I fight with them. That's it. Then I can be, then I can be the hero. Then they won't kill me. And what would I call the game? Hmm, something creative. So he went with Security Breach Fury's Rage. Um, <laughs> let me make sure I still have my save here. Let me run. Uh, save that and restart. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, it's, it's not rocket science on that that level. Anyway, with the intro, yeah, Scott really wanted to get this game out for you all. It is a bummer that Security Breach is going to come out later this year, like late in the year. I still think that this could be Security Breach, not Fury's Rage necessarily, unless y'all really love it that much. Uh, but Security Breach, I really think that that could contend for game of the year. Steel Wool, I thought, did a really good job with Help Wanted. Uh, there are still some bugs left with Help Wanted, but, I mean... <laughs> when you think of bad bugs, like trying to capitalize numbers infinitely in a, in a loop, uh, or, I, I don't know, like stuff that... It's like, well, did you even run this? Like, did you even run the unit, unit tests? You know, make sure on a happy path that this actually works. Uh, or, you know, did you document, did you comment on your code and then realize while you're documenting it, hey, wait a minute, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Uh, those types of bugs that end up in the code and cause a lot of problems later. Scott gave me a very, very well done game from the start. So build one was actually pretty good. Uh, there were some balance issues. There were some uh, features that I thought should be added, some clarification as to what specific things do. 
Um, there are still some things that could be added or changed, and definitely a few bugs that are still left. Uh, but, I mean, he knows about them. I've, I've made those known to him. So uh, the job of QA is to really thoroughly check to make sure that things are as polished as can possibly be within the, within the guidelines of what the developer eventually wants to do or ends up doing. So anyway, uh, I spent three days playing this. And one reason that I, I run between the thumbs on the buttons and then between these two for the uh, special ability is my, my thumb is swollen because <laughs> I've played this game so much the last three like three major parts of the day. Uh, I should say three days, a lot of those days, okay? Uh, so, I don't know. I took breaks to eat and run and all that, and Scott was very generous. Scott's a generous guy. Uh, but he wanted this game out for you all because he does, he does really feel bad about having something that really everyone's hype about in the community, and I think deservedly so. I think this is going to be a really special game. Uh, but anyway, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see if it's a, a little bit earlier than anticipated. But uh, and Scott's tendency is to get things out immediately or even early. But uh, I actually gave him feedback on one of the builds, and then before he actually did anything with that, he was just like, "Hey, I released the game." I'm like, "All right." <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah. What else? Um, with that 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 scene, it's a supportive community. Like you think FNAF World. The initial build that uh, it just it received a lot of criticism and Scott didn't like it. He thought it was a flop, but it still had well over 90% positive feedback. I think it was just about overwhelmingly positive. So it's a community that really loves these characters, loves the story, and uh, you know, for better or for worse, I don't like the grim parts of the story personally. Uh, I mean, that's that's baked in there, but. I don't know. These these silly one-off side games as well, I, I especially prefer. So, I mean, I like FNAF World and Freddy in Space 2 and, and Fury's Rage. Uh, but anyway, um, I like the dynamics of the games especially, too, and figuring out the strategies, how to optimize. And you all know that, but you can like, comment, and subscribe, or click that notification bell for all notifications if you really want to keep in touch with, uh, with my videos here. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I know people just like my Five Nights at Freddy's videos, and that's... Uh, I guess in this era, what, I've, what I'm known for, but I'm not a one-trick pony, <laughs> so don't expect me to put out just Five Nights at Freddy's videos, and I know people aren't going to watch those other videos as much, or the likelihood is, and unless I find some other game that's even more popular at some point, but uh, anyway, I, I make videos of what I want to make videos of, that's kind of my style, so if, if you like that type of thing, you can stay on the channel, hopefully you'll like something on it. Um, anyway. Uh, <laughs> Scott was wearing his Yave shirt, his Hurley shirt that was like mirrored when I don't know, it's it's a meme on the on the Reddit, I guess. Uh, what else? But he was standing on that rock doing his best Simba impression, or maybe like when Simba was tossed you know, that gif where Simba's being tossed off of the um, off of the rock, and then the animals cheer. Yeah, that, maybe he's already tossed Simba off. I don't know what kind of shoes those were. It was kind of like a what are those type of moment. Uh, and then, yeah, the mob. Um, <laughs> the mob had pitchforks and baseball bats and headphones on, so kind of a gamer mob. But I don't think he's going to receive that type of response in the majority. But uh, I know he wanted to work on some more solo projects. He's, he's posted that publicly, so I'm not spreading any info that you don't already know on that. So anyway, uh, it's always fun working with Scott. And I, I know a lot of the voice actors say the very same thing. Uh, He's, he's a creative guy. Uh, we share a lot of similarities in some ways. Uh, some people say that I'm Scott Cawthon. Uh, I would say you're wrong, but Scott actually has said that that was the case. Uh, like if you look on my Minecraft meta build Scott Cawthon video, uh, I made an automation. Uh, I made an automation tool that uh, takes an image that I have, um, kind of palleted out, and then it, it it's mapped to various blocks on Minecraft. I haven't actually played much of Minecraft, uh, maybe like 15 minutes of actual Minecraft, but I just ran my automation tool for, you know, nights, like overnight. Uh, and anyway, so that, that was that. But he said, yeah, that his alter, alter ego was DJ Sturf on that video. So you can see that comment on that video. Uh, he's goofy, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, that was a three star run using all those characters. I'm thinking if I left anything out, uh, in terms of tier list, I would definitely put Monty up top in terms of getting through the game. But, like, the more I play and the more familiar I am, like, I had Chica at the lowest tier. But now I'm starting to change my mind. Like, Chica's 
really good too. Like the, the quickness and the the strength of the special attack is especially nice. I don't know. The, the, the two in the middle, I can't say are the top tier. Maybe different purposes, different characters. I gotta say that. Different purposes, different characters. So, alright. Um, <laughs> if you wanna deal a lot of damage, go with Monty. And if you wanna just like drop kick all the way, like across entirely through the game, go with Monty. If you wanna like go super fast through the levels with a lot of special attacks, maybe Chica was, would be a better bet. I, I just don't know. But anyway, you can try it out. It's a free game. It's on Game Jolt, and I'm in the credits as the tester. So anyway, that's about it. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace. God bless you. Have a great day. And man, it's yeah, it's been a crazy few days here, <laughs> but I'm glad the game is out. Uh, if you if you find any bugs, let me know. There are definitely still bugs that I know about and have sent out to Scott for sure. Uh, oh yeah, I need to show you Anim Dude. Yeah, yeah. Let me do that. Um, okay. Um, the normal mode can also, like, it doesn't matter. Let me, let me go with Roxanne. Really a choice. She has the highest luck, so maybe I have the best option of getting Anim Dude power-ups from Roxanne. All right, here we go. Give me a real challenge. Yeah, look at that. Oh, perfect. Okay. <laughs> yes. Get him, Anim Dude. Yeah, that's right. All right, take him out. Take him out. Yeah. But I mean, if you if you just want to take one side of the screen and let Anim Dude just completely wreck everyone on the other side, or just run off the side of the screen like he often does and wail on them over there, out of out of sight, out of sight, out of mind, I guess. Man. But yeah, Anim Dude is my favorite part of this game. <laughs> like, I mean, he's just super strong and nice to have. Like. Yeah, if you wanted if you wanted to do a run with Anim Dude, you'd only get two stars tops if you played hard mode. Um, but it's well worth it, I think. Come on, take him down! Oh, you're having trouble with Thug Life Chipper. Anyway, normal mode only gets uh, only you only take one damage per hit uh, from a normal character. Or I guess uh, <laughs> you take let's see, you take half the damage in normal mode as you would in hard mode, okay? So you press H for hard mode. I still think that you, you should be able to toggle hard mode on and off, but you can hit F2 to reset, so that will get rid of hard mode. Um, if you play through normal mode, there's a new game plus mode, basically, and you can start hard mode with all the stuff that you gained from normal mode. Uh, it's kind of an overpowered start. Like, I just started from scratch there, but anyway. Um, yeah, I, I do think that F2 and Control y for remapping your controller uh, should be on the home screen too, but these are things that I have out to Scott anyway. So it's up to him what he wants to do with it. QA's job is to make the canvas as presentable as possible. And I, yeah, I've covered that. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Peace, God bless, have a great day. And yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs>